number one, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. This week's video, I'm going to concentrate on moving photos from your computer, from your computer's hard drive onto an external hard drive, and then also work with backups, because that's a really important part of photography, especially since now we're working with digital all the time. We really need to have those backups of all of our photos. Uh, a backup to me is more than one copy. So just having a single external hard drive with your photos on it, that does not constitute a backup. So let's work with a little bit. We'll work through some of these steps and I'll show you what my favorite backup program is. So first, moving photos from your current drive, from your internal hard drive, which as you can see is my Macintosh hard drive that's listed here inside of Lightroom 4. Uh, to an external one. Now, I already have some photos on this external drive, so I can't add the, just the entire drive, but actually this is the preferred way that I'd like to see you do it anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is hit our little plus button right here, and we're going to add folder, and then I've uh, browsed to my external hard drive, and we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this 2013 Kazillo archive and we're gonna hit create and then we're gonna hit choose now since there's no photos in that folder already it shows it and it adds it without issue uh, we can then click here and show our parent folder which is the root of that drive all right and I like doing that. I like to see the root of the drive in there I don't always use it but it makes it a little bit easier now we can actually use that trick to our advantage here just in a second too. So we have this folder of images here. We're going to make believe that this is a lot of photos, a lot of photos, a big job or a big event or a big something, and we're going to want to move all this. Obviously, this is just one little segment from this week's Keep Shooting Mondays video, just one little piece, just to make time a little run a little quicker. I started copying the whole folder and it was like, I don't know, like five gigs or something. It's like, that's going to take too long. So we have this one folder of images here that we're going to move over. And so we take it, and this is so simple, it really is. Take it and drag it into our 2013 folder. Now I always like to leave this verification on. I don't like to turn off this do not show for this, this uh, notification. Uh, the other ones inside of Lightroom and the preferences, you can turn off a lot of those notifications. For this one, I'm always going to leave it on because I don't want to accidentally be moving photos from one drive or one, from one folder to another. I want to make sure that they stay in the right place. So this is, going, this is my uh, primary method. So I'll go ahead and hit move. And Lightroom is going to copy those photos from one place to the other and then remove the original source. So let's see our progress bar says moving and there we go it's moved and it's on the new drive and we can do right click on it and we can do show in finder and we can go to 2013 and there is our video right there okay boom done out of the way and we can do that and it's it's easy now if we have a lot of folders okay we can actually do something, we can do it two different ways actually. So once again, we're gonna make believe we have a lot of folders underneath this 2013 Kazillo archive. Uh, two different ways that we can do this. First, we could just drag this entire folder back to desktop and it would move it for us. So that's gonna take a little bit of time to process that entire folder, move it, but not a problem. We don't have an issue with that. All right, obviously we just set it and forget it. Go get a cup of coffee, come back, and it'll be done. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is if we had already copied those photos over, say we use our backup program and we duplicated those photos, but we wanted to use our other drive as a primary drive, maybe we're moving them to a bigger drive, but they've already been duplicated. Uh, what you can do is update folder location right here. Okay, and then we can actually find that other folder, browse through our finder, find that other folder, choose the right one, and then hit choose, and then it will show it in that newer location. That's the, the second way, just depends on what you're doing, but either way can actually work really well. So um, 
that's really moving photos within Lightroom. Uh, second thing I want to talk about was backups. This is super important. Now, say your computer is starting to get slow and you need to add, uh, maybe you're running out of space on your primary computer, say you have a laptop or something like that, you want to start moving those photos over to an external hard drive. First thing, go buy two drives, both external. If you have a laptop, you might want to buy the little bit smaller ones, more compact drives. Uh, if you have a desktop and you don't mind it, the, the bigger ones, uh, then the faster drives, the bigger drives are usually faster access. So um, with a desktop, that might be a better way to go. So we buy two of those drives, both the same size, the same capacity, and then we can have, or even the ones with, the, with two drives inside of the same box, uh, you can have that backup system. So that's what we need. We need a backup. So I recommend using a retrospect for your primary backup of your photos. Now I do use Time Machine here on my Mac, but I don't recommend using it for using for your photos when you're duplicating from drive to drive. And here's why. When you're in Time Machine, it works fine. There's no issues. I use it for my OS in case the whole machine would go or the hard drive would go in the machine. But I don't want to use it for my photos as my primary backup because when you have a uh, all those photos are confined inside of that time machine uh, kind of container kind of envelope and that's not necessarily a good thing okay you might want to personally I prefer to have all the photos right on the drive just an exact duplicate of one year to the next year to the next year one folder to the next to the next instead of worrying about a any kind of a program that's what retrospect allows me to do so if my primary drive fails i take my secondary drive i plug it in and i can access all of my pictures without any special programs you know bare bones drive install lightroom boot it up or photoshop boot it up there we go and i can see all of my pictures so I'll explain that and I'll show you that a little bit more here. Anyway, Retrospect is my preferred program for that. Uh, they actually just came out with a newer version for the PC. I haven't tried it out on the Mac yet, but I know that they work the same. They're very similar and um, just I'm new with the Mac, so uh, that's it. But it, it's been running on the Mac for years and years. Really love this application and um, even their, their professional version, it's very affordable and um, just a good all-around application so let's go over to my windows machine which is actually where all of my photos are stored my primary workstation is still my windows 7 machine my laptop my um, macbook pro is actually just my just a laptop it's not my primary editing computer so i have all of my external drives uh, you can see my primary lightroom catalogs here on my lightroom f folder or lightroom f drive which is actually a separate raid then I have number one, number two, number three external drives, and I actually have uh, number four also, which is another external dr uh, set of drives for the 2011 and 2012. Um, some of them are not here because I'm in the midst of moving some stuff around because I'm actually going to be getting some new drives and some bigger drives. That's why you're not seeing everything here, all of my stuff prior to 2011, all the way back to 2002 when I first started shooting digital. So uh, let's set up a duplicate. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to be duplicating photos or duplicating a drive from one place to another. All right. Uh, here's my volumes database that shows me all the different volumes and things that I have. Okay, uh, this is actually the, my backup sets. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth here uh, because I just uh, there's retrospect has some really good videos that'll that'll uh, push you along. If you did have individual questions, I'll gladly answer those in the forum, slash forum and you can um, go ahead and just ask away there one of those two places, and I'll help you. Anyway, setting up scripts. I have two different types of scripts here. I have the normal backup and I have my duplicate. So I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to choose duplicate. As you see, fast copying of desktop disk or folder. I'm going to choose OK and I'm going to call this a test because that's what it is. And I'm going to click OK. 
Now, first I'm going to choose my source, okay, which would be this is my number one drive, and I choose a sub volume, and I'm just going to choose my 2013 for right now, and I'm going to hit define, and there's that folder. Click OK. Destination. Now I'm going to my number two drive, okay, and I'm going to hit sub volume, and I'm going to hit 2013 define and OK and replace so I'm going from the 2013 drive on drive number one to the 2013 sorry folder on drive number two selecting all files um, options you can go in and specify some of these options I prefer to go in and um, set some of these once again I'm not going to go in and bore you for all of these uh, sometimes I will turn off sys duplicate system state as uh, I don't really need it for just these photos. It's not an issue. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to schedule this. This is the really important part of this is scheduling it. OK. I actually will schedule this every single day. All right. I'm going to choose repeating interval. And then I'm going to change this to one. And I'm going to change this to one days. And then set this for, say, midnight every night okay and I'm gonna click OK and done now this is going to run which I actually don't want it to so let me pause this real quick all right so I'm stopping good stopping my execution just in case anyway I have this set up now to automatically copy all of my photos from my number one drive to my number two drive that's the way I want it to work okay I don't want to have to worry about and think about all oh, did I copy those photos over did I not copy them over as long as this is running as long as you leave your computer on this is going to duplicate your photos from the primary drive to the secondary drive which at least gives you one backup okay you have something now personally I have three backups or three copies of everything and then a fourth that I take off site I'm thinking about working on something new where I'm putting everything up in the cloud. I'll do another video on that if I end up uh, going with that solution as a long-term solution. Still working that out and still working and uh, uh, figuring out the bugs. Anyway, now everything, I'll take a look at my drive, show you my drives here on computer. So everything, the G is my primary one. G, Greg, makes it easy for me to remember. Then that's actually labeled as number one. And then everything is copied over to number two and number three automatically for me. Last thing I'll mention real quick is the backup of my Lightroom catalogs. Now, once again, not a a uh, huge fan of using Time Machine for this. They, Time Machine is backing them up on my Mac, but obviously on the on the PC, these are my, are my primary ones, the ones that really matter, kind of my, my master set of catalogs. That Those are being copied and actually duplicated into a similar type of system, a similar type of backup, where it has the your incremental backups just like you would have in Time Machine. So you have a you have a full backup, you have all the files, then you have an incremental, which is just the changed files. It's, it's adding to that database slowly. And so uh, that's what I have in this one. And so it has a source, then it sets a destination of a backup set is actually what that's called. And then I have some options and I have my schedule set to run every day for that too. So since this is, excuse me, at the studio, then, um, you know, 10 o'clock is fine. It runs overnight and, and not an issue. So questions, comments, concerns, uh, send them over. I think I've been pretty thorough with this video. Again, we moved all the photos from our primary hard drive on the Mac. Let's go back to there real quick. Moved all of our photos from our internal hard drive on of our laptop onto an external hard drive, the number one drive. Um, recommendation of using a retrospect in the go just show the products here oh, they make it choose that okay the professional should be good for most people they do have other server versions if you need it to uh, basically anything that you guys would have retrospect can back it up and protect it so um, 
good application then I showed you how to actually back that stuff up and then your drives labeling your drives making it easy for you to find everything making sure that you're going to that primary drive and lastly backing up of our Lightroom databases uh, and actually incrementally doing that which will end up saving a little bit of time and you can go back a little bit um, the other thing that this actually does is it's backing up my primary customer files a lot of stuff in there so I might want to go back to you know a version or two or three or four back a little bit uh, it's also backing up the Lightroom backups so inside of Lightroom you have multiple backups of a of a catalog hopefully you have that already set up make sure you're using those and those will also be backed up inside of this and then duplicated onto a second drive in case that raid fails so questions comments concerns let's hear them add a comment like this video please and of course subscribe if you're not already so greg kazillo kazillo.com thanks guys keep shooting see you